Howard Garrett, the Dirt Doctor here with some advice on healthy living. One reason to not deadhead all your roses is to allow the hips, the fruit, to mature. Rose hips in teas, salads, and other dishes provide an excellent source of vitamin C. Some roses, such as the Rugosa rose, have large decorative hips. Roses are easy to grow with the organic program, and everybody should plant at least some. Rose hips are used for herbal tea, jam, jelly, syrup, beverages, pies, bread, and marmalade. Rose hips are also used in the feed of some pets and horses. The dried and powder form can be fed at one tablespoon per day to improve the coat condition and new hoof growth. Rose hips are used in many food preparations and for colds and flus. Dried rose hips are also sold for primitive crafts and are scented with the essential oils to be used in potpourri room fresheners. Roses are propagated from hips by removing the seeds from the arrow, the outer coating, and sowing just under the surface of the soil. Placed in a cold frame or a greenhouse, the seeds take at least three months to germinate. The more common and easier propagation method is stem cuttings. For all your gardening questions or to join the Organic Club of America, visit DirtDoctor.com or our Facebook page for help and tune in to my talk show this and every weekend. Go organic and enjoy your healthy gardens.